I'm in a garden of Choya cactus out in the desert. They're really pretty. You just don't want to touch them. But there's thousands of them. So far, uh, Joshua Tree has turned out uh, to be really cool. I had not expected to uh, stop here. It wasn't even on my radar for this trip. I mean, I've heard of Joshua Tree, but it wasn't on my radar. If it was, I would have made a reservation to get into one of these cool campgrounds um, that's tucked in amongst these boulders because they look really cool. I would have made an effort for that. Just gonna do the day trip up to the uh, vista and back. I'm gonna pull over on one of these uh, little day use areas and these rock formations, make lunch, walk around a bit. I think I twi tweaked my back sleeping on it wrong or something. That hike this morning didn't do it very good. So I think my hiking is about done. Get out and walk around a little bit. Yeah, Joshua Tree has been a has been a uh, fun trip so far. I'm glad I uh, made the time to come over here and spend the day. So far, it's been cool. Yeah, that's a hell of a view. See the Salton Sea out in the distance. Coachella Valley. I'm not sure what mountain that is. I'll have to look it up back when I get cell signal. It's got snow on the peak though. What a gorgeous place. I just pulled off on a random wayside here. I think they called this Jumble Rocks, Jumble of Rocks. Cool. Just kind of walking out in the desert. amongst the Joshua trees. When am I gonna learn not to touch the plants in the desert? Yeah, just a random spot here at Joshua Tree. This is cool.
so cool. And look at this line of quartz. Looks like quartz. It's just going right up there. That is just really cool. Yeah, that's up there. Uh, 15 feet, 10 feet, another five, six feet above my hand. Just a cool spot. Let's see if I can get down this little slot. Wind's blowing pretty bad, but hopefully the mic will work. Just so many little crevices to explore. Though I don't think I'm going much past that. Just a cool area to explore. Well, I can tell I did tweak my knee somewhere. So I'm not going to be doing a ton of hiking. Little tree just growing in that crevice. I don't know if you can tell, but this is four foot across, this little slot. Now, I didn't think this was going to be much when I pulled off the road, but... What a neat little area. I'm glad I turned the camera on. I have no idea where I'm going. Or if I can even get back to the van from here. But each corner... Well, I've hit a campground. Well, I found the campground. Oh. Well, luckily there is nobody at the site that I stumbled into. I guess I'm going back the way I came. I just took that little walk on a jumble of rocks. What a cool area. Walked right into a campground. 
while I was taking a walk, I had the uh, Instapot going in the van. I made spaghetti because I realized I hadn't anything to eat. A handful of frozen uh, meatballs, a jar of spaghetti, half a box of a jar of spaghetti sauce, half a box of spaghetti, and uh, three quarters of a jar of the spaghetti sauce of water. Throw in a couple herbs and spices, and 20 minutes later, you got yourself a thing of spaghetti. Come on, guy. There you go. And the van smells freaking awesome. <laughs> it smells like spaghetti. I wish I had some garlic bread to go with it. I haven't had, I stopped eating bread about two years ago. Actually, I stopped eating carbs about two years ago and I'm just starting to bring some carbs back into my diet with the whole wheat spaghetti. I'm in a congested area of, where am I? Oh, Skull Rock, that looks kinda cool and it's full of people. I'd rather find my own little areas that are a little less congested. Okay, we're getting back down towards the south end of the park. I did a lot of filming today. I'm not sure if this is gonna be one long video or two shorter ones, but I filmed it all on the same day. It's been a long day. The spaghetti's still behind me in the Instapot, keeping warm, screaming at me, because I've not eaten all day, and the van just smells like spaghetti. And I'm going to try to snag a spot right where I was at last night, which is just a couple hundred yards south of the park entrance, some BLM land. stay there just the night, maybe two. I'm going to head down towards the Salton Sea. My buddy's going to be, well, he's hiking the Pacific Crest Trail, and I'm going to hope to meet up with him probably this weekend, four, five, six days. So yeah, let's see if we can uh, snag some of that BLM land just south of the, uh, just south of the entrance. arrived at the park entrance. The park sign is right here on the left, the back side of it anyways. People taking their photos. And I'm going to try to snag some of this BLM land. There's two roads. There's one there. And there's one here. already somebody is sitting in the spot I was in last night. So we're just going to have to drive a little farther down. Right here on the left where this white pickup truck and the Sportster is, that's where I was last night. So I'm going to end up following this guy and he's going to take whatever spot he can find. Hopefully there's a little again.
this spot right here. One of these spots. That's more or less level. Yeah, so I um, think that's gonna work. Um, we have right here on the floor is the uh, Instapot. It's, uh, and uh, time to eat. Oh, that turned out good. Spaghetti and uh, yeah. That's uh, a long day here at Joshua Tree. Um, didn't do it justice. Pretty much just a uh, blow through up, up the road and back. Took one hike, but it's been a long day. Plan on coming back sometime, not this year, and uh, do it justice. I'll hopefully get a uh, reservation at the campground here, or one of the campgrounds, and stay a couple days and uh, do it justice. But until then, we're going to go on down the road, head for the Salton Sea in a day or two. And uh, thanks for riding along. Later.